Over here. Yeah. Over here. Welcome to my mobile home. I dressed up for y'all today. Okay, so hi. My name is Kimmy. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. I said my intro backwards. Welcome back. And welcome if you're new. My name is Kimmy and in today's video I'm sharing with you my mobile home. I've shared this before but we've made some changes. I have decluttered a ton. So I thought today I would share with you the tour of the house and also our plans for each room. What we are going to do and if we are going to fully remodel the house or just fix things that are broken. <laughs> um, before my mind changes all the time. But I feel like God is literally telling me, you just need to stay put where you are. Just stay put where you are. Whenever I think about moving, I just like am overwhelmed with stress and like, uh, and then I think to myself like, we have this home. It's an owned home. We don't owe anyone for it. It's ours. And it kind of doesn't make sense to move to a different house. We have probably an acre lot because there is a lot behind us for a trailer but there's no trailer there and we take care of the yard work and everything in that yard and we have a pretty big yard in front of us so like there's so much space here there's just two of us we have about 960 square feet it is 14 feet wide and i believe 70 foot long so I had to ask my husband all these questions <laughs> so I could give y'all the correct answer. But I know you want to see the house, especially if you are new. You may have not seen the first tour, so I will show you this tour. And I will leave the first tour link at the end of this video if y'all want to go see the difference between the two. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So this is our front door, which we never use because... Our porch right here where our steps are um, broken <laughs> so we do need to fix that that's like high priority on Aaron's list so if you came in the front door this would be the living room which I feel like is pretty big I feel like cameras don't do the size of rooms justice but this room is pretty big and then if you walk through here you will see the kitchen. Someone complimented us on our bar stools. These, I don't know where Erin got them. They are super heavy. I like them because they kind of look vintage to me. And I feel like they go with my green countertops. Which a lot of y'all are telling me that I should change. But I love my green countertops. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the kitchen. Yes, I'm going to turn around so you can get a second view of the living room so our two chairs are right here Erin loves recliners um so we just have two recliners and then that chair right there and chloe on that little table right there and then we watch tv here and i did bring a dresser into the living room and it stores all of our junk <laughs> and i have i love my lantern so there she is. If you ask me what kind of decor I like, it would definitely be, I'm not going to say, like, I do like farmhouse, but it would definitely be just, like, natural materials. So, that's why a lot of my decor is wood, faux wood, or galvanized metal with the glass, as you can see right there. <laughs> A lot of grays, blues, and brown tones in our home. So this is our little table where the Xbox sits. We got a lamp. A lot of our home decor is thrifted. That's on the wall. Like this bear was only $5. I will always be excited about that. And then most of our galvanized decor is from Hobby Lobby because they have such a good array of home decor um, in that style so let's see what do I want to show you all next okay let's go in the kitchen I'm not good with home tours but this is our kitchen table we don't really use it it's just there <laughs> 
Um, I still need to paint this chair. I painted the table and that chair in December, and then I still have not gotten around to paint this chair and the two chairs in the back. Um, so I, I think, let me go ahead and just show you the house, and then I will go back around and tell you the things that we need to fix, because I've already kind of went all over the place. So this is our kitchen. A lot of people have asked if we're going to change the kitchen, and as of right now, no. This floor, we had to take out all the wood, replace the wood, and then, or a particle board, whatever you want to call it, it was plywood. And then we had to put, I believe this is vinyl, I'm pretty sure, it comes out in a roll, and you have to put that white stuff on the wood first the primer and then you can put this down and it just sticks to the floor um so we've already spent about three hundred dollars just in that it comes in here and through the hall and we've already had to replace the refrigerator and our washer and dryer so we have already put a lot of money into this room and that little entry right there so for right now no we do not plan on changing anything about the kitchen because I love my kitchen I love my little flower wallpaper I love my cabinets and I love my countertops <laughs> some of y'all may think that's silly but I really do and it goes with my decor so I will have a Q&A slash laundry motivation video soon, and someone did ask for the Q&A, how am I inspired with like what kind of decor I use and everything, and it really depends on the room. So with the kitchen, of course, I wanted to go farmhouse theme, because the kitchen, if you take everything away from it, it's very farmhouse, it's very like, to me, like a gardener would love this kitchen, and I am a gardener. Y'all will see that this spring. I'm so excited to plant. Um, so yeah, I have my coffee pot here, some little decor there. This is an aloe plant. Some people have asked what that is. It's just aloe. And then I have some more decor there. And my little diffuser right there. So that's pretty much it for the kitchen. And we'll come back through and talk about flaws later because if you see one We'll talk about it later. So this is our laundry area. This is the door we always come in. It's our back door. And then we have our washer and our dryer right here. And I just have some collapsible bins up there to hold all of our stuff so it doesn't look like crazy unorganized. I'm lazy, so instead of putting my sprays back where they go, I normally just put them there. <laughs> but they do have a place. So yeah. Um, there is the washer area, and then this is our bedroom. It's not completely finished. I still need to do something right here, and behind here, they just put duct tape around that instead of fixing it, so, the people that lived here before us, so we have to fix some of these walls, but I did go ahead and paint, she's not focusing, I did go ahead and paint these walls. The blue turned out a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if I would suggest it. It is definitely twilight. <laughs> it's a deep twilight blue from Lowe's. It's like 4007 slash 6C. That's the color. Um, it is pretty, but it's a lot darker than I thought. I thought it was going to be more of a greenish blue. And it's definitely like, I don't know, where the light hits it, it's not as dark, but it's definitely dark, I feel. So, we do have a king-size bed in here, which takes up most of the bedroom. So, I just have a little table right there with an alarm clock and a phone charger. And then I still need to paint that wall. That's Aaron's dresser. This is another little dresser with a bunch of junk in it, sorry. We've been doing a lot of work in here, so there's a lot of dust. Okay, my little TV right there. And then over here, I just have my knitting stuff. 
if I want to crochet because I like to do that. Also, it's galvanized, of course. I am going to get some kind of wall art in here above the bed and maybe some more of these walls. But you can see we still got some work to do in this room and some of our plugs. Like, um, we don't have any electrical issues, but we do have plugs that just came out of the wall. So that's a light switch. But we do have plugs that do that too, so we got to get all that fixed. Okay, so this is our bathroom. Finally got a new toilet, and it works great. Um, and I got a new mirror to replace this one with, so I'll be doing that soon. Or more like Erin will be doing that soon. The toilet we got is from Kohler. Cooler. It's really nice. I've never seen a toilet that like has a curve like that. Normally they're just like a... You know, not as angled. Shower curtain. Okay, so our bathroom is very small. <sighs> so that's actually, like, if you notice, I did not put the door back on the bathroom. Because when the door is on the bathroom, like, it takes up so much space in the bathroom. And we have to have our heater in there. Um, I just pushed the heater out of the way so y'all could see the floor. Um, but I do like... Our bathroom without the door because it gives us a lot more room. Okie dokie. Now we are moving on to the rest of the house. Which basically we just use as storage. Because <laughs> there's only two of us in Chloe which is our little chihuahua. So we don't need a ton of space. So this is our hallway. Definitely going to change the lights in here. And um, depending on if I put daylights in here if it makes it look more bright then I won't change the walls out but I may in the future change the walls out like this one <laughs> this is leftover wood this is the door from our bathroom but Aaron so happened to not have a door for his room so I said you can use the bathroom okay so this is Aaron's room we did get it cleaned up and um, this is the paint that was already in here he's probably going to change it to something else but this is his fishing room. As you can see, all of his fishing stuff is in here. All of his tools are in here. He just picked that up the other day off Facebook Marketplace. I think it retails for 200 something dollars. I don't know how much he got it for, but he got it for a really good deal. Um, this is just all his stuff. And then he's got more. If y'all don't know, Aaron is, uh, he loves kayaking. So he's got a lot of life jackets and stuff in there. This room, if he wants to update it, he can, but it pretty much just holds storage, so there's not really a reason to update it. This is our second bathroom, and our bathroom looked just like this, except for it had regular flooring. It didn't have carpet. I hate carpet in bathrooms. That will definitely be changed, um, but our bathroom did have this green countertop, and for the bathroom, I really don't like this or the flowers. Um, so we'll fix that. Also, that is not what you think it is. That is hair dye. <laughs> okay, so this is our bathroom. Second bathroom. Okay, and then this is my, um, I, I guess I could say it's my storage room. <laughs> Mine's a little bit different than Aaron. It's a lot girlier than his, and I have a lot of, all my clothes are in here, and all of my seasonal home decor in here is in here so there's a lot of buckets with um christmas decor in them because that's my pretty much my favorite season so yeah this is the third bedroom so there's three bedrooms two full bathrooms in this house so let me go ahead and point out we'll just go in order from where we are this room i want to change the carpet the entire house is going to have new carpet, but this room I want to have a regular like vinyl or something on the floor or the tiles like we did in the other bathroom because I am super grossed out about carpet being in bathrooms. Why they ever did that, I will never know. Like, yes, it keeps your feet warm, but it also like, mm, I don't like it. <laughs> so... Carpet will be changed, and I'll probably do the same thing in this bathroom as I did in our bathroom. So, we'll just paint the walls like a white or a gray. Maybe gray. That would go good with the shower curtain. And then, 
change the color of this with that adhesive wrap that I put on the other one and paint the little table right there. So not too much that we would have to do in here, just painting and changing the carpet. Okay, his room, if he wants to do anything with it, he can. I don't plan to do anything with my room except for fix the outlets that are kind of like came out of the wall because um, that's kind of dangerous, you know. Of course, this carpet will be changed. And then these walls will be fixed. We'll either put new panels in or fix these somehow. But it would probably be better to just put new panels in. Because some of these panels have like, from the previous owners, have like giant hole damage. And it just, because panels are so thin, it really makes more sense to just replace the panel. Don't y'all think? So that's probably what we'll do with that. And then... Um, if I can find panels that are just like a solid white, then I'll just do solid white. And I feel like somebody smoked in here because the walls are dingier than you would think they would be. Okay, so living room, again, carpet will be changed in here. I want a really pretty, like this color carpet is fine, but it just needs to re be replaced because it's coming up anyways and also it's just got a lot of cosmetic flaws to it um so that's all i'm going to do in the living room is just change out the carpet i don't feel like painting this room because it's already bright enough for me and i don't mind it it kind of makes me feel like i live in a cabin i don't know why don't ask me why but with my decor like <laughs> It just feels nice to me. I do want to change out all the curtains in here except for those. Um, but these, that's broken. So that one will need to be changed. I'm either going to get blinds for everything or just new curtains for everything. But definitely want to change out those. So just in the living room, carpet and curtains need to be changed out. That's it. Because there's no wall damage in the living room. Kitchen. Like I said before, not going to do anything to the floor. I know there's a little flaw right there where we've been moving the fridge or the um, oven. So it's kind of made a cut in the, in the vinyl. But the floor itself is fine. So I'm not going to change that. I told y'all I love my kitchen. Um, I may get tired of it one day. But for now, like, I love it. It's very cozy to me. And like, like I said, like I feel like someone that loves flowers and loves planting vegetable gardens, like would like the kitchen because that's what it reminds me of. It makes me feel like I'm outside even when it's super cold and I can't go outside. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see, over here is the only damage we have in the kitchen that does need to be fixed. So this wall, it's kind of, it's just like, I don't know what they did, but it looked like there was a window there. And instead of them just putting the air conditioner in the window, they took out the whole thing and just boarded it up basically with a panel. So that's fine. But this panel is warped. Also, it needs a lot more insulation because we did have mouse issues, which I feel like is normal for any home. You know, you're going to get mice unless you have somebody coming in, you know, like a pest control type thing. So we don't have any other issues with pests. Just sometimes we get a, a mouse in here. Um, but it's... It tries to make a nest, you know, and take out the insulation. So, we're going to fix this right here and re just reclose it off basically. I don't I'm I don't know a lot about this stuff, but my husband does and so he knows what to do, but basically we just need to refill it with insulation and close this. And I just want to buy a white one cuz the white matches better to this or if I can find this I'll just put this there okay so that's all we need to do in the kitchen and then if you notice there is a board right here because there is a hole 
underneath. This is the only part of the floor they did not fix when we moved in here. Like, mm -hmm. Aaron and uh, his sister's husband. So, um, we need to fix it. <laughs> because there's a hole and I'm tired of standing on this. So, that's the only thing we need to fix in this room is that. And then, also like electrical stuff. Like, our electrical stuff works. It's just not in the wall like it's supposed to be. I think it's from people must be yanking on the cords. And when you live in a trailer and you have panels as walls, like those walls are thin and sensitive. Like you can't just yank out a plug and expect it all to be okay. Because over time, you know, that happens. The whole thing will just pop out of the wall. Also, they they may have installed it wrong. I'm not sure. But you can see. This is what I'm talking about. That happens. Which, it's okay. We don't have children or anything. So, we're smart. We know, like, not to mess with that. I just go up there. <laughs> I, turn, I turn the light. And that, that works, you know. We got it. Anyways, okay. So, the bedroom. Again, like I said, carpet needs to be replaced and I need to finish painting in here and I told y'all I think on Instagram that I wanted to do some kind of like it, it's an adhesive wallpaper so just like what I did on the countertop in the bathroom they have something to where you can do that on your walls too so that's what I want to do and I want to do like a faux um faux wood I think it's called shiplac but it's faux it's just, um, it comes in a roll and you just do it. Not good with words, so I'm sorry about that. But that's also all we have to do in here. So, we don't have a lot of stuff left to do in this house. Basically, just little things, little projects. I think that bathroom was the biggest project. And then, the only real big project would be ripping out the carpet and replacing it. And then, if we do find any issues... Um, like if we have soft spots or whatever underneath the carpet that we need to repair, then we will repair that. Because um, I do not like getting scared and feeling like I'm about to create a hole and fall in. <laughs> okay, so I think I've showed y'all before, but this is our front yard. It's so big. And they paved our driveway I see some trailer parks and they're like stacked on top of each other and I do not like that at all so I'm so thankful that we have a yard um, I feel like some people that live in subdivisions don't even have a yard this big so and it's not just us like a lot of our people that live here I'm trying not to show their houses for privacy reasons but a lot of our yards are pretty good size so there's our front yard and then, <clears throat> I'll show you our backyard. Okay. Our backyard goes all the way to that house. There's a fence back there. So, it goes all the way back there. Erin has to mow all that. Sometimes, I push mow it just for exercise. <laughs> I like to push mow. I feel like I that is the best workout ever. Yard work is the best workout ever. You do not need a treadmill. Okay? So, yes. There is our backyard. Erin bought that to put his kayaks in. And then, um, also, that's normally where I put our garden. Like, you can't see it. Um, but I have little pools and stuff behind this yellow thing where our garden is. Our neighbor's shed burnt down, so that's why there's a bunch of, like, debris out there um so we do have a neighbor that lives right beside us and then we have one that lives there and then we have i'm trying to cover them up um especially because his van's outside and it's facing the where you could see something there's another house right there but like i said everyone has a pretty big yard and i feel like we have a, a huge yard you know like if you're trying to find a home online especially where we live in North Carolina if you're trying to find a home here for under two hundred thousand dollars that is 
you know, a substantial size, like three bedrooms, two bathrooms, you're going to pay at least 160 if you want more than one acre. <laughs> like there was a house I saw the other day. It was beautiful. They wanted 160 and it's two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's 1,200 square feet. And they only have, um, I think it had like almost three acres. So I was like, Aaron, that pretty much buying acreage. So I think when you think about it, when I go look at houses and I'm like, well, that's nice. But it's for what we paid for this, there's no reason for us to move. It just doesn't make any sense to me for us to move because three bedrooms, two bathrooms, almost a thousand square feet for two people. Like that's huge for two people. So I'm very thankful that we have this house. I think even with its flaws, it's beautiful. Like we could live in so much worse and we have a huge yard and the neighborhood we live in is super quiet. Everybody is super nice. Um, and yeah, like you can't beat it. I mean, you, you can, you may be able to, <laughs> there's one lady, um, that I watch on YouTube that she bought a trailer, a single wide trailer for $500. I was like, wow, I thought like $5,000 was an extremely good deal, but 500 crazy. Um, so yeah, this video has been super chatty, but I feel like in a way y'all have got to know me a little bit better. Um, and the, our plans and everything. So yes, we will be fixing some more things. So y'all will see that. And um, I think just over the years when I do change things, I'll just do another tour of what's changed. That way I can go back and look at what it looked like when we started. But I think I'm most excited about just redoing the carpet because that takes up the majority of the surface of the house and once that's repaired and it's clean and fresh and beautiful then I will feel like oh we're almost done <laughs> so I don't know when we're gonna do the carpet we may do the carpet last but I'll be so happy when we do do the carpet because I as much as I like my green countertops I cannot stand green carpet <laughs> I don't like green carpet. I'm not knocking anybody that has green carpet, but I just feel like it's such an odd color, you know, to have on the carpet. I'm used to gray, white, tan, and we'll do tan because I, no way would I have a white carpet or a white rug that's just spills and accidents waiting to happen, even with adults, so... Mm -mm. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I know I did not read a comment in this video, but I appreciate all your comments so much. So many of you are leaving a ton of comments. Jessica, Cheryl, like I'm just thinking on top of my head. Kathy, Kathleen, there's so many of y'all that leave comments. Ashley, it just makes my day. That's also, I told y'all in the last video, that's why I post five times a week because that's five days that I'm going to be able to talk to my friends. So anyways, I will see y'all back here in the next video, which will be Monday. So watch out for that. It's a clean and bake with me, with my friend Bethany. So bye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know when if you did. Wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun